Hey everyone, welcome back to Effect for You channel. Today, we are going to create multi screen slideshow like this. So let's get started. First, create a new comp 1920 by 1080. This is our main comp. Now create another comp this is our media 1 comp. Drag your image into the timer line. Now select bend tool. Turn on graph, so that it is easy to equal from all sides. Now create a shape layer. Now select shape layer and add round corners and increase radius 30. Select bottom layer and change track mat alpha mat. Here you can see. Now go to around 1 seconds forward and add a keyframes on both position. Then go to first frame and move both position, bottom side of the comp. Select all keyframes and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Now go to first frame and move the medium one layer a little bit below to the shape layer. Now go to 1 seconds forward, select shape layer and open path 1. And add keyframe on path 1. Then go to 1 seconds forward, select right sides of key point, by pressing control key. And move left side of the comp like this. Also adjust the media 1 position little bit left side of the comp. Now select path 1 keyframes and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Now we need to create another media for this side. So duplicate the both layers. Then duplicate media 1 comp in project window. And replace with duplicate media 1 layer. Now open media 2 layer and change your image. Now delete all keyframes from both layers. And move both layers when we added a keyframes on path 1. Align both layers, and move right side of the comp. And add a keyframe on position. Then go to around 1 seconds forward and move both layers in composition. Also select right side's key point of the shape. And move little bit. Now also adjust the media to layer. Select all keyframes and easy ease them. And make your graph like this.
perfect. Now we need to move both media top side of the comp. So select all layers, go to the last keyframes. Now we need to animate the path of both layer. So select shape layer. And open path 1. And add a keyframe on path. Then go to around 1 second forward. Select bottom key point of shape layer. And move little bit top side of the comp. Similarly move the second shape layer also. Now select keyframes and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Cool. Now add another media in bottom side. So duplicate the first media and shape layer. And move above all layers. Now go to project window and duplicate media 2. Then drag media 3 comp over the selected media 1 layer. Now open media 3 and change your image. Now select both layer and move, where both of our media comp start to go upwards. Now delete all keyframes except first one. Go to 1 seconds forward and move both layers top side of the comp. Now we need to adjust our shape. So select both bottom key point of shape layer and adjust them. Easy ease all keyframes, and make your graph like this. Cool. Similarly you can add multiple screen, Perfect. Now create a new comp. This is our text one comp. Select text tool and type your text. Now open text layer and add position. And scale. Change Y position 50. Scale 0%. Then open range selector. Then advanced and change shape ramp up. 
Go to first frame and add a keyframe on offset and offset amount minus 100%, then go to few frames forward and change offset amount plus 100%. Select both keyframes and easy ease them and make your graph like this. Now go to main comp, and drag text 1 comp into the timeline. Parent text 1 with medium 1 layer. Now go to that keyframe where our media start moving and add a keyframe on scale. Then go to few frame forward and move anchor point left side of the text. And decrease the scale amount. Select both keyframes and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Now duplicate text 1 layer, parent text 2 layer with media 3 comp, and change your text. Move layer few seconds forward, and adjust them. Perfect. Select all layers and turn on motion blur. Our animation has done. Hit zero for ender. Thanks for watching. I hope you like the video. So please like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel. For more tutorial, I'll see you in the next video.